Oh, hi. This is Digital Beersborn. Welcome back for more AP Art History. We're looking at the indigenous Americas, and we're going to turn our attention to Mesoamerica. Mesoamerica is the Central American region that contains countries like Belize and Guatemala. We're going to focus on Mexico. Starting with this piece, known as the camelid sacrum in the shape of a canine. Let's start with the context. This piece was found underneath Mexico City. Construction workers were digging a pit to install a drainage pipe when they uncovered this object. Archaeologists were able to date this at roughly about 14,000 BCE, which would make this piece prehistoric. Now, as we've talked about with other prehistoric work, it predates written history, which prevents us from knowing much about the contextual information. We don't know exactly who made this. We don't know exactly why it was made. What we do know are things like form, and content. So let's talk about the subject matter of this work. What we see here is shaped into a canine. A canine is a dog. We can see from the rough shape of the ears, the eyes, we have a snout with a nose and a mouth. It's roughly shaped like a dog's head. Now the formal qualities of this work, this is made out of a sacrum. And a sacrum is a bone. It's the bone that attaches the spines uh, or the spine to the hips. If we're looking at a skeleton, the sacrum is down here on the opposite side of the spine from the skull. Many ancient cultures believed that the sacrum was a holy bone, a sacred bone. It's where the term sacrum comes from. The idea being that the skull is how we experience the physical world. It's where our eyes and our ears and our nose is for our senses in the physical realm. But the sacrum being on the opposite side of the spine represented the source of our senses in a spiritual realm. So whereas the skull is our physical manifestation on earth, the sacrum represented a connection to the spiritual world. So for many cultures, the sacrum is a spiritual sacred bone. Now in this example, what we're looking at is not a human sacrum. It's a sacrum of a camelid. A camelid is any animal that belongs to the camel family. This is what a sacrum looks like from a modern camel, which is similar, but perhaps a little bit different than the sacrum used in this work. The sacrum that we're looking at in this piece came from a now extinct type of camel that once existed in Mesoamerica. Now we can see from the shape of this modern day camel sacrum, there's a lot of similarities between the camelid sacrum in the shape of a canine and just a normal camelid sacrum. The ear shapes are already present. The general snout, nose and mouth are already there as well. Now we can see in this modern camelid sacrum, there are many holes where in this one, there are only two, but these holes that we see as eye holes were not added by the artist, but pre-existing features of the camelid sacrum. Perhaps the only part that the artist did add is the nostril holes we see at the end of the nose. There is some manipulation of the material done by the artist in this work, but not that much. The general contours of the sacrum are already very similar to a canine. Now, what could the function of this object be? What was its intended purpose? We don't know for sure. Being that it's prehistoric, we don't have the information. The assumption is though, that since it's using a sacrum, a sacred bone, it must have been something ritualistic, something religious perhaps. 
We also know that cultures that exist in this area at later dates, like the Aztec, for example, believed that dogs were shepherds that would take your soul to the afterlife after death. So canines were something that were often associated with, uh, with a passage into the afterlife. And for that reason, the assumed function of this piece is that perhaps it's connected with some kind of funerary practice or some kind of religious ritual. That is the camelid sacrum in the shape of a canine.